He's there. He gets over. He makes little marks. You sure you don't want to play? You remember the basketball, right? Bam, shoot the ball. He ain't upset with her. Trust me. Do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn? What's going on with you and Mr. Williams, honey? I'm going to show you some text. Wait. from high school and I'm so proud of him but I'm still a nervous wreck because he has not committed to a college yet. Can I cover up enough for you son? Yeah I mean you, we are going to a, a church not the club but you know you do what you want. He has seven college offers but he still hasn't made up his mind yet. I don't care what George does. I just want him to go to school close to home. He has an offer from Valparaiso D1 College, one hour away from his mother. I wish he would take it. It would be perfect for him and perfect for me. You look really nice, though, bro. I really never thought I'd be seeing this day. It just flew past. Yep. Is Casey coming? Yeah, Casey be there. She gonna meet us there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of your girlfriend, what are you gonna do about her? I mean, you're not gonna just leave her here, are you? I mean, she's first of all a junior, so she's at yeah, school. Yeah, but what about proposing to her before you leave? <laughs> I put this suit on and you think I'm ready for marriage. You hilarious, girl. Please, please stop. That's not it. His girlfriend is beautiful. I love his girlfriend. I mean, she's smart, straight-A student. And I'm just thinking in my mind that if he proposed to his girlfriend, he has an obligation to stay close to home. Look. I'm not proposing to anyone but a Division I school for four years. You got a little bean head. Let me get my purse, because mine just pulled up your side. I know, I'm looking good. I'm ready for graduation. I ain't worried about none of that. Come on, guys, let's go. It's a big day. This is your first time here. What you think? It is. It's super cute. What's allowing you to walk into and get a mimosa like that is first class. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Hey. What's happening? Thanks Thank for coming. you for having us. My salon, Glam Lux, is a hair extensions company. We are the best hair extensions company, not only in Chicago, but in the nation. We deal with a lot of celebrities, and come on, if a celebrity can trust the hair, everybody can trust it. It's everything that you would do and more. I'm glad you support it. So I you appreciate have to, it. Wait, 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 but okay, that's <laughs> great now. This place is great. I will be back. Well, wait a minute. Yes. So... I know what you're about to say. Well, no, listen, listen. She you already know what is going on. I right? know where this is going. Okay, first of all, you don't paint. Like, why are you? We want to sit down at that table a good five minutes. Five minutes. Serious. You know, my daughter's a junior. The problem we're having now is her father, he really wants her to play basketball. And he teases her. He gives her, like, he makes little marks. He ain't upset with her. Trust me. She's not upset about basketball. So you know him. Oh, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I do. To me, it was just uncomfortable. It was. You guys should talk it out somehow. Right. right. I would just never even talk to her ever again. But because it's your friend, and I know I would probably have to see her again, let me just clear the air and so we don't have to deal with this uncomfortableness. Yeah. Let's clear our energy. Like, yeah. let's discuss yeah. what the issues are. Yeah. And, you know. That was the craziest situation, but yeah, enough of that. Yeah, be that as it may. Yes, let's get over that. Danny is going to prom tomorrow. Oh, really? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, her and her two girlfriends are coming by. They're all going to get glammed up. And actually, Aaron and Lorenzo are going to be there together. Oh, wait. 
Yeah. Lorenzo is my boyfriend of six years now. I met Lorenzo when my girlfriends and I did a girls trip to St. Lucia. He was actually a bartender at the resort that we were staying at. Literally when we met, it was like sparks flew, chemistry was amazing, and he decided to move to the United States. Is this going to be like the first encounter, or? No, I mean, they, I mean, they, they see each other in casting, but this is like, you know, the first time they're going to really like be at an event together. Because I won't bring him to the kids' game. Why? So why now, that's not? my issue. I feel like the basketball world is their world, and this is their thing. Mm -hmm. And and I just feel like bringing him into that circle would just be unnecessary and awkward. This is the best relationship that I've had in a while, and I mean, honestly, I just don't want Aaron to ruin that. And I'm really worried that his unfriendliness is just going to scare Lorenzo off. So he can come to the prom, but he yeah. can't come to the game? No. <laughs> Yeah, this should be, this should be interesting. Um, I want to see those Air Max and those Hirachis. Gotcha. So you can just bring out a few things. I got you. Oh, my boy Michael, hey, come. Hey. hey. What's up? Hey, what's up? Tiffany is my suburban basketball mom friend. Our kids used to play back in the day for the same organization, and then she moved out to the boonies. But with Summer League coming, they're going to be rivals, and I say, let's get it, let's go. What was the last time I saw you? At last the, summer. Last time at the three on three. That's right. Hey, baby, how are you? So, man, how tall is he? Seven feet. Uh, Eight feet, right? Eight feet, right? Eight feet, right? How tall are you now? Six three. Okay, yeah, so they're right there. I'm Tiffany Thigpen, and I'm the mother of Michael Salter. He's 15 years old, and he is ranked number one in the suburbs. I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to get a D1 scholarship. I've been kicked out of games. We've had to forfeit because of my mouth. I want my son to win. Period, point blank, end of story. I know what looks right on him. He yeah. don't get that yet. So you ready for some of AAU? So this, you know, the Raptors and the Spire game is the first big game of this season, and it's going to be huge. And then, you know, the rankings are going to follow. So yes. this is important for both of our boys, actually. Yeah. No matter who wins, they both got to play their best. They bet, yeah. That's what yeah. they're looking at, because it's like, got to stay in the top ten at all times. So. But Namari will be number one this year. This weekend, they're going to be playing against each other for the first game of the summer. My son, Namari, plays for Mac Urban Fire, one of the best AAU teams, not only in Chicago, but in the nation. Tiffany's son, Michael, plays for the Illinois Raptors. Have you heard of him? I haven't either. And y'all got a one-up because he plays in the city. To be a suburban kid coming in, like, you really got to show himself. So he really got to show up. Exactly. You got to work extra hard because they're not looking at you off the bat. They're looking at who they already got. So I'm super excited, though. I set up this meeting with Basil. Um, you know, I'm real confident that Basil's going to bring out something extra in him. And Basil's, you know, one of the best. So and I got to do what's best. I got to put him in the best. Yeah. Because I said, we take this seriously. Our kids are our investments. Basil is a good trainer. He has a great name in Chicago. Somebody, somebody make a shot. We're building another gym. Too many bricks. Let's go. So if she wants to spend the money and invest in her child, I can't question that. Girl, this is a job. It Another is a job. job. Yes, a job we and don't I get paid to... for. No, we don't get paid. Not yet. <laughs> so I'm happy to, to know that he's going to Basil, but, you know, y'all ain't going to win this game. Mm -hmm. We're going to win this game. I just need you to know that, honey. I just hope Namari can take, you know, the beating they're going to get from their big brother. Girl. It's not going to happen. It's no. going to happen. No, it's, gonna it's happen. not going to happen. But if you want to be confident and think that, I'll let you think that. Tell me, Georgia's graduation. In 
You know, I'm going to be throwing in a graduation party also, but the graduation girl okay. was fabulous. I mean, it was what long because it's Catholic. Oh, I know. We was up it was up and beautiful, down, though, right? kneeling, praying to Jesus. Do you know it was like 500 people that they did communion? I'm glad I wasn't there. I'm Sorry. I love you, George, but I'll be at the party. Who does a communion with 500 people? I don't know. It was, I, could, I was like, oh, hell no. We checked graduation off the list, but my stomach is still in knots. Usually, people have committed to a college by the time they graduated, but George has not. But that's not going to stop me from throwing the best graduation party that any of these mothers have seen. So, well, congratulations. You should be thank proud. You. I am very proud. I'm glad that's it's wonderful. over. You know, I'm done. Both of my, my, my little birdies have flew out the nest. Aww. So it's just me. Yeah. So um, I want to hear about Tether, though. That's your friend. Okay, let's be clear. That is your friend. I was confused as to why you coming for her ex. Now, you know, and this is my issue. If someone was coming for your ex, I would not have it in my presence. You I kept coming for her ex. First of all, he well, wait, was well, coming what do you for mean? me. Okay, well, wait, time out. Time. Oh, so. Oh. He, he came for me, honey. It's all on Facebook. He came for, I didn't know this man from a can of paint. He inboxed me. Oh. He asked me to go out. And this been a whole year and something. Um, I've been back and forth with him. What what is this? I'm in the blue. Do you think he's a D1 player? Definitely. Michael's gonna go far. Everybody's parents tell me the same thing. No! I was with Peyton and she had shown me some text messages. I guess she really knows your ex-husband. What's up with Heather, though? You I kept coming for her ex. ex. First of all, he well, was coming for me. Mean? Okay, well, wait, time out. Time. Oh, so. oh. He, he came for me, honey. It's all on Facebook. He came, I didn't know this man from a can of paint. He inboxed me. Oh. He inboxed me and asked me to go out. And this been a whole year and something. I've been back and forth with him. What What is this? February 10th, 2015. I'm in the blue. Um, so whatever happened with that? You know, we talked and, and hung, you, you know. You talked and hung what? Hung, you know, went out and stuff like that, but... <laughs> I didn't know. He told me they, they said they were pending divorce and they finally he finally got rid of her ass, is what he told me. They've been separated six years. Did you it was good. So when I see her, you know, and she's seen all of this, I'm like, honey. And I and Oh, so she doesn't know. No. You know, I can definitely keep a secret, but let me tell you this, like, my thing is, is I feel like they should just have a conversation and figure it out. Yeah, I just feel bad, because she doesn't know, but who, I mean, you know, what she am I going to do? She needs to know, she got a man, she lived with a man, why is she worried about okay, him? Okay, so this is all too much, y'all, this is messy. Well, I know one thing, if you see her, you my girl, okay? Sparkling cider. This is Danielle's prom day. This is supposed to be a fun and exciting day. But I'm totally freaked out because Aaron, my ex-husband, and Lorenzo will be spending the whole day together for the first time. Look at you guys I want to go to prom. I'm not getting married, Molly. I'm going to prom. Do I have to cry? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not. I've done a really good job compartmentalizing my life, my home, my business, my ex-husband. But to be honest, the one thing that I'm most worried about is actually Lorenzo. Aaron can be very intimidating. I just don't want him to be a jerk to my boyfriend. 
I saw them upstairs. They're looking pretty good. Yeah, I bet. So, yeah, we're going to be here all day, right? The family and everything. Yeah, we'll be here for a little while. But, you know, cool. take them a long time to get ready when they... Women, right? Getting, mm -hmm. getting all done up. Well, they're actually talking. I wonder what they're saying. So, listen up. Um, you know, a lot of times, every time we see each other... Heather's like, ah, it's always awkward and whatnot, you know. I mean, truthfully, we're gonna be around each other for like the whole day. So, I mean, in my opinion, I got some vodka, lemonade, and whatnot. We should just fire one to shots and whatnot. Make the best of the day, right? So pour one up. All right, let's do it. Man, you're firing some heavy shots, bro. That's how I do it. Damn. That's how I do it. <laughs> time to time. What are they saying? They probably talking about me, how crazy I am. My kids ain't never said nothing bad about you, so I got no problem with you. Ah, there we go. Because I'll tell her, like, if I was in this situation, I'd be at the games. I think it's more Heather trying to keep two things separate, you know what oh, I mean? Okay. Right. I'm the one saying, I'm sure he wants to go to the games. Why don't you let him go to the games? Hey. Don't you look lovely? Thank you. What you guys talking about? You. Me? Yeah, you. What about me? <laughs> you always have a problem with us, like, being together. Well, why is that? Hmm, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so awkward. Wow. You no, know, I think the awkward part is it's been six years before this happened. Why don't you sit down? No, I'm good. Sit down, man. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm going to go back up here. <laughs> She's headed for the hills, bro. <laughs> She's seen enough. They've never even had a conversation. But now here they are in a room together talking like old buddies and chum and pals. And it's just the whole thing is just weird. Wow, boy, them kids look grown as hell. Hello. I want y'all to meet uh, Dennis Adams. Right, what's That's up, man? Over there. You doing, Mr. Williams? What's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Williams? How you doing, Miles? Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Brandon. How are you? Good. Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. I haven't seen you in years. I know. You look beautiful. Thank you. You too, Alex. You guys look amazing. You might want to have a second talk with those boys. <laughs> <laughs> take pictures my ex and my boyfriend just spent the day together and now they're like best buddies i don't know how i feel about that wow you guys look beautiful yeah you guys look really nice i've worked so hard to keep these two separate and in one day it's all just torn apart like it's chaos now and i i don't see any good coming from this come on, well, come yeah, on well, where's the old here man <laughs> One big family, right? <laughs> let's go. Good. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Just plant that left foot. Plant that left foot when you come around. Good. What's up, Basil? Can you give me a couple you minutes? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go up and under now. I have a pretty simple goal. Good. My son has raw talent, but he's going to have to work really, really hard if he wants to compete with these city kids. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mike's mom, Tiffany. All right, Basil, let's pull out some chairs. Okay. Let's, let's move over here a little bit. My son needs every advantage that I can get him, and you're not going anywhere without a private coach. So tell me a little bit about your son and what you're trying to do with him. I definitely am looking for some training now. He's never really had personal training. So after this summer, he'll be a sophomore, and I really feel like the sophomore year is your biggest year because either you're going to sink or you swim. I just hear of so many kids that did so well their freshman year, and they go into sophomore year, and they get okay. that sophomore slump. Okay, so and I can't have that happen. I just want to know because I train a lot of NBA guys, right. a lot of high-level European guys. I got a big line of... You know, request for me to train right. and get a, get a lot of emails and they process time. Email. So let me ask you a question. Why do you think I would want to train him out of everybody? Michael is, he really is, he has it. He really has it. Of course, he needs to work like everybody else does, but Michael's going to go far. Everybody, everybody's parents tells me the same thing. I'm sure. Do you think he's a D1 player? 
definitely. And I've never heard anything less by anybody. He's, I've always heard so he was So does he have a lot better. of college interest yet? Yes, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to check him out myself. Yeah. And I'm going to see how dedicated he is. He is. I'm going to see how serious he is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push him to the limit. Okay. One thing is, I'm really busy. It's hectic time of year. Right. So I can put you in a small group with someone, okay? Okay, that's fine. Now, the woman, she's a she's a very aggressive woman. Her uh -huh. kid is a, he's in seventh grade. He's going to seventh grade. Very okay. good. Her name is Johanna. She's very aggressive. Oh, my God, Johanna. She, oh, Lord. So you ran into her. Yeah, I know Johanna. She's a friend of Nikki. She's one of the twin towers. Ooh. Both of our sons play basketball. Now they're playing together at this game. Between the Raptors and the Fire, she's one of those mean, pushy, bossy moms, and I am not going to let her get in the way of what my son needs. To be honest with you, Johanna can be very territorial because I'm with it. I'm with her son a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to let you know that's the, that's how it might become. Yeah, I ain't about all that. I'm dedicated. I want my son to work with the best, and I think I can handle her. I've been around basketball since my son okay. was five years old and had to deal with a lot of parents. Okay, good. As long as we... No, she's not going to scare me away. It's going to go in one ear, <laughs> out the other. I'm sure she's all bark and no bite. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll see. You and Aaron's conversation. What did you all talk about? Business. You. Basil, wait, we don't train suburban children, Basil. What is the problem? I'm wondering why you're here. Hey, babe. Hey, uh... What you doing? Bug in my drink. <laughs> Welcome to the summer. I haven't stopped thinking about this whole man bonding that Aaron and Lorenzo had. This just completely threw a monkey wrench into everything. It's an odd situation for me. Baby, I'm so stressed out. I'm so tired. You're stressed out about now. You and Aaron's conversation. <laughs> Wasn't that interesting? What did you all talk about? Work, business, you. Like what? All kinds what did you of say stuff. about me? I wouldn't say anything about you. We were just talking. You know, he was wondering, like, you know, why you trying to keep me away from, you know, spending time with the kids and things like that. Do you feel like I keep you away? I mean, does that, does that bother you? I mean, I'm more worried that it bothers the kids. You know, AJ or Cam may be offended that I don't come to see their games, you know? I feel like that's, like, their thing. Okay. And I feel like it would be awkward if you came. You say it's awkward, but the question is awkward for who? What, is it just you want to hold on to that whole family moment experience no, type thing and be a happy family? No, 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 absolutely not. And I don't want you to think that's it at all. I'm scared to bring in other elements because I feel like other elements are going to kind of mess up what we have. It's just kind of like how things have always been, and it's all like... Right, well, allow me to interject. Whether if, you know, he's at the games or, you you know, one of the kids needs to get picked up, I'm going to show up whether you like it or not. <sighs> Why are you doing this, man? Oh, my God. Okay. At this point, there's no avoiding it. I just have to just bite the bullet and say, you know what? We're all going to do this together. I have to just go with the flow. Hmm. Hey, how about those steaks? All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> So before the NBA, three. before the NCAA, there's AAU. It's the toughest youth league out there. So your child either makes it or breaks it. It separates the good from the bad. And it can get real ugly. 
The season starts this week, and Amari is more than ready. Amari and Amari are playing on the fire against the Raptors. I mean, it's not just by luck. It's talent and hard work. And, of course, our secret weapon, Coach Basil. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold on. In walks in Tiffany and Michael. Like, why are you here? Tiffany is a suburban mom. She is just a living nightmare. She's been known to throw a stroller or two on the court. Like, don't they have her mug shot, like, outside of every tournament? Like, stay away from the lady who throws the strollers? What made y'all travel through the forest and through the woods just to get here, huh? Anything for my baby. You swam over here? <laughs> I love being a basketball mom, but what I hate about this experience is having to deal with moms like Johanna. She's always trash talking, she's not supportive, and quite frankly, it's really annoying. I'm actually surprised Basil decided to train him. I'm a little curious as to how that happened. You know, I asked him if he'd be available to train, and he said, sure. We'll see what happens. So he must not have seen your son, because, you know, he trains only the elite of the elite. If he only trains the elite of the elite, then maybe he did hear of him. He started uh, on varsity his freshman year. He was written up in the Chicago newspapers. He was written well, up so on he's the a freshman program. now going into so sophomore, sophomore year. sophomore year, yeah. Oh, yeah. girl, baby, you got to step his game. He's going to, he's got to go to college. He's already been seen. He, this freshman year, he's he already at college is coming. He's got letters. They're like Does it interest say we letters. want your son? Yeah, 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 yes. Where? Stanford, um, right. Western Illinois, Illinois State, Western Kentucky, um, Santa Clara University, okay, San so Diego University. Okay. <laughs> we got 20. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, but... What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? I need you What's to up? do something other than Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Y'all have a seat so we can get started. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I oh, know. In and out. A lot of hips. Put your hips into it, all right? Look. <laughs> Basil, wait. We don't train suburban children, Basil. What is the problem? I'm wondering so, why you're here. Peyton really knows your ex-husband. So, I mean, this messiness, it has to stop. Peyton, let's talk. This is my coach. You need to take your burnt ghost face and you need to go. Let's see him first. Mike, come back. Come back, Mike. You gotta sell it. Nobody's going for that. Look, look. Basil, wait. We don't train suburban children, Basil. How are you gonna say that in front of the kids? Let me ask you this. What, what is the problem? This is the city, honey. This is oh, the city. Oh, we've been here. But we've been here. We've been here. Wow. Well, I need we've to been here. I know all about the city. I know all about the hate. I know all. Oh, it's not hate. This oh, is hate. Though. This oh, is hate. This is hate. This is not hate. Like, you still Because there's no reason person. for anybody to be worried about my son but me. Don't I'm, worry about I'm, my I'm son. Really I'm really not worried. I'm, I'm just not worried. worried about your son. I'm, I'm not. I'm not I'm worried. Not. My I'm just son's wondering already why you're in here. high school. I'm your son's why just you're trying here. to get there. I'm wondering so, why you're here. Oh, I'm here because I'm worried about my son. So I don't think it's a, a waste player. of money for you. Is Johanna, like, serious? What, is she going to lift her leg and pee on Basil and mark her territory? Okay, Johanna has so much to say about my son, but we have this huge game coming up. It's the first AAU summer game against the Fire and the Raptors, and she's going to see exactly how my son gets down, and she's going to eat her words. I guarantee it. Let's go. All I know is this is my coach, my turf. You need to take you and your burnt ghost face, and you need to go. But don't come back here and get your son embarrassed. Okay, so since you want to talk about how I look, Elvira, let's not. Elvira. Let's stick to the game. They're loving okay? this, Elvira. Yes, Morticia well, Adams, all that, whatever. Okay, well, but you can talk Morticia, about uh, let me, they've got nothing to Let me get you out of here, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. And then I'll be back. Okay. And they're going to love my son like they do. I don't really want to see you back here. But I'll be back. All right. There you go, Mike. Good. Let's go. Police.
we have many similarities. We kind of have the same mindset when it comes to our children and education. I know her children go to Whitney Young. Whitney Young is such a big deal for me and the only school I will have Amari at as far as I'm concerned. But I'm not going to lie. I mean, this particular conversation is going to be extremely awkward given what I know about her ex. I am so glad that you invited me over. I have been, my New Year's resolution okay. was to finally start getting out more okay. and to stop working so much. So, like, it's just nice to be oh. out. And oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Well, first of all, let's talk about Whitney Young. What is, like, are you loving it? I know both oh my girls God. are there. I love, okay. I love it. It is more difficult to get into Whitney Young than it is to get into Harvard. And those are the actual statistics. And it, it's ridiculously hard to get into that school. And cheers. Thanks, babe. Cheers, cheers. As I'm talking to Heather, I'm just like in the back of my mind, like this whole Peyton Heather thing is like really you know, festering in my brain. And it's a little uncomfortable because I am good girlfriends with Peyton. However, Heather really could help me get Amari into Whitney Young. So that's really more important. So yeah, so oh, it's good to are, are we going to clear the air with Peyton? Are you going to the um, graduation party? Uh, I am. I'll okay. Go. Okay. I am, am going to go. I'm going I'm to bring okay. my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, nice. And the two of us, yeah, we're going to go. Nice. Yeah. So maybe that could be a good time to kind of, well, just to kind of clear the air. It's so funny that you said that because the Peyton that I met, she was trying to play little games and it really pissed me off. And to be attacked, I, it, I, it just blew me yeah, away. It, 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 it really confused me, but I'm like, I don't do a thing about, um, I was with Peyton the other day having drinks, and she had shown me some, like, Facebook messages. I guess she really, like, really knows your ex-husband, and she might. Aaron, from what I understand, was trying to get business advice from, I think he wanted to open up a club or something like oh, that. Oh, no, that was a little more than business advice. Well, you know what? <laughs> and you know what? And that's their business. I'm like, this is what he told me. And he has no in the business, lie. maybe, but really? uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not bothered by the fact that she knows my ex-husband. She may have simply just been a jump off. So whoever mentions a jump off, Peyton should have just came out like a woman and just said, oh, yeah, I know him. And this is how I know him. She's acting like a child. And I, I have a problem with that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to her at the graduation because, I mean, this messiness and this ratchetness, it, it has to stop. Okay. It has to stop because it's getting absolutely ridiculous. I came here to support you, and I felt like I was completely attacked. The issue was with Aaron. graduation party for my son. Everyone is excited about George's party. We got his basketball friends here. I invited some of the girls. I'm just ready to get this party started. <laughs> Tuition. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Definitely but you did a good job. Have you met my friend Lorenzo? No. Lorenzo, this is Peyton. Peyton, this is Lorenzo. Nice to meet you, Peyton. Same. Yeah. Well, you're excellent, huh? <laughs> is it nice to meet you, Peyton? Where are you from? I'm from way far away in the Caribbean. 
Vê lá, né, qual cena no chão. Ok, Okay. <laughs> Claiming she's messing around with my ex. Now she's flirting with my boyfriend. Peyton just does not know when to quit. Is this just who she really is? Or is she just trying to mess with me? Congratulations. I'm, 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 I'm happy, but I know it's very difficult, you know, the high school years. Yeah, because you're next. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's a pretty anyways. I like those thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Peyton, let's talk. I think we should talk. Okay. Excuse me, ladies. I need to talk to Peyton. I I'm not going to be phony. I'm not going to pretend to be nice. But I do want to get to the bottom of some things and clear the air. You don't have to like me, but you're going to have to respect me. Let's be clear. I want to rewind. When we first met, and I felt like I was completely attacked, the issue was with Aaron. And let's be clear, whatever happened, if there was a, something between you and Aaron, not my business, I could really care less. I'm glad you don't give a damn about Aaron. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have to talk about Aaron. Right. That was not the issue. The issue that I had was that I felt completely disrespected. You were telling me about my own daughter's personal situation. Right. And I said, okay, well, where are you getting information from? You're like, eh. So I feel like you've been extremely childish. And it's, it, it's, it's childish, it's immature. And honestly, who really cares? Like, why is this even a conversation? She had the nerve to pull me aside at my son's graduation party. Seriously, I'm going to keep my mouth shut for now. So I just let her ass talk and be like, oh, okay, I'll deal with you later. First of all, I'm not childish. Uh -huh. I, I was just speaking. My family is off limits. Right. I wouldn't disrespect you or your family like that. And I would appreciate it if you don't disrespect mine and talk about mine. They're off limits. I know who Peyton is. Peyton is... She's a bully, and I will not be bullied. So moving forward, let, let, let's keep our children's mouth with things like with negative things and, and all this. Let's keep it out of our mouths. All right. It's we came to win day. We got the Raptors going against the fire, and it's showtime. Come on, Raptors. This is the first chance of the summer for our kids to stand out. They need to show who they are and get some attention from the college scouts. I got my son, Michael, playing against Nikki's son, Namari, and Johanna's son, Omari. And I can't wait for Michael to put Johanna and her little man in their place. But on the court, she's my enemy. And we are ready to get this victory, honey. This game is make or break. And you know the fire is going to break the backs of this suburban team. We come to win and we come to get that title. And that's what we going to do. Let's turn up. You ready or no? You brought your pen and your pencil and a pad of paper. Take notes. I mean, Take notes for your baby. Let's go. Because you know a big bro got to show him a little something today. Listen, we're going to see. <laughs> I'm going to let you put your foot in your mouth. But Johanna is definitely queen of the mean. I don't want her trash talking affecting my son. If she tries to rattle him like she did at that practice, I'm going to rattle her with my fist.
You know, Tiffany's getting a little riled up with this game, and my kid is 12 playing against your 15-year-old. Like, what could you possibly tell me? Absolutely nothing. So shut up. that they start missing some of these shots because Michael is on fire. This is the best game in history for him, honey. to do. We'll be seeing Basil in a couple hours. It is so great to win, especially when I had Johanna talking all this mess. I bet you guys know exactly who the Raptors are now, and I bet you know who my son is. Mom, I'll tell you about the offer that you got. You said what? Mind your damn business. Get off the phone. Get up. I'm not trying to. What you mean you don't want to work out? Look at it, at least mine. I swear to God, but I don't like them. Breast gown grin pops up, and I almost fell out of my seat. Oh, wow. All you do is have negative things to say. Well, I think you're going to be just like this one. You're mine. 